Merchants 2013 with Delfina Nova. It's a visit with a person of high strangeness. I'm not sure if you can believe it because I'm having a hard time believing. It's their time already. We have to do the predictions for 2013. What does that tell you? That tells you we are still going to be here. Uh, Miss Lisa is the camera person. Hello, Miss Lisa. Hello. And can I move to, she's well, but she moved to Atlanta. So we have a guest this year, and her name is Delfina Nova. Lillian. Delfina fell out of the sky for you, so it's going to be a really good prediction, don't you think? I think so, too. Cool. This is the only structured show we ever do, so I'm going to go right down the line the way I'm used to it. Which means I have to work up my paper here. And we did that a couple of weeks ago. So here we go. Are you ready? Maybe you want to push your uh, VCR or something in case you want to look at it again later. Did you push it? That time's up. Okay. It says here that the country has to be made feminine because it is highlighted by the greater number of suicides robberies, murders, etc. In other words, the crime rate is going to increase by quite a bit. And if we really male or left brain, we won't be able to... Uh, what am I looking for, Miss Lisa? The, the word. We won't be able to balance. We, so the country has to be feminine and that's what we'll do with it. Um, it represents sadness, some grief, some bad spiritual experiences. We, and some people are really tied up in uncro uncontrollable fear and slander. So they have to balance the yin and the yang. We have to go beyond the material to deepen the crystalline and limpid waters to reach high values. I don't know what limpid means. Maybe you do. We have changes in Capricorn and Virgo. Venus and Saturn, they are acting in close relationship. In sum, the, tr the trilogy of a united earth. So I think we're going to get more global. That's a good thing. And then it says, don't let stubbornness blind you. And do not convert more than you deserve. There's danger of envy, corruption, fraudulent contracts, blackmail and extortions. And uh, you are... In a less than comfortable position, it will demand resources that may not be practical or involve as an exchange, like a body or payment uh, in, in some kind and so on. We have unhealthy jealousy, um, accidents with cutting items like surgery and operations that could also be military, sadness and sorrow on the commercial front and industrial levels. And since the planet Venus governs the bull, we will encounter some gentleness in upcoming agreeable times. And the bull appears to be ready to charge. And usually we, we uh, associate the bull with Wall Street of some kind. The truth cannot be hidden or detained. Ignorance and foolishness of the hangman. Now that has been a reoccurring uh, re theme and last I would say for would you say about four years Lisa mm. yeah and, and so it's still political uh, disturbance there a little bit you are stopping what needs to naturally evolve and wanting to find other sources of destiny we have changes for change we have Aries Leo and Sagittarius which would mean uh, what April April uh, August and December we have to self-examine our communications is going to have difficulties. Uh, we should have checkups check would be recommended and however small by specialists, so quit doctoring on your electronics. Recovery and improvement from state to state that will happen in time. And then it says we're going to we're going to lose our house when we have that set up. It's usually disasters, earthquakes and real destructive type um, forces in nature. The characteristics of a leader that can take on any activity 
efforts will be noticed, but you need the power of decision. That looks like President Obama. Now keep in mind, we're going to 13, but it's too early in this reading here. And then it says, someone wants something that belongs to us. It could be creditors. And so we have to be cautious. And this is the kitty. Her name is Miss Gurley. And so since we're still here in 2013, that's a good thing, right? I think it's an excellent thing. It's an excellent mm -hmm. thing, yeah. Uh, I find it interesting that the country has to be female, don't you? I think so too, but I feel that it, it's time. It's time mm -hmm. for the feminine to come through. She has to talk loud, that's what that means when I, you see me do that. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's really time for the feminine mm -hmm. to come through in this country. Cool. I think we're ready. There you go. Mm -hmm. I think we're ready. I think both men and women are ready for the feminine nature because the feminine nature is very healing. Mm -hmm. Now, we had a lot of turbulence in, in 2012, and usually what happens is we don't want to be, just so you know, we don't want to be right because we're going on a fact-finding, uh, problem-solving thing here. So if there's anything in here that you don't like, we have to start changing it or else we're going to be right again, like this year, 94, 96%. So make us wrong, huh? <laughs> Coke. Sounds good to me. Do you want to start? I will. I will start. And you, I see you have a turtle, so you work with turtle medicine? I do work with turtle medicine. Um, I am from the Algonquin Nation and the Turtle Clan. So um, it's interesting with 2013, uh, the turtle has 13 moons on her back. Mm -hmm. And um, today we've got turtle that's uh, helping, helping with the reading. So we keep things in perspective here um, in a healing way to find solutions. So, you want to go I'll first go or should I start? Uh, Doesn't matter. But you want to? Okay, get I'll go, go first. And then she'll you... go first. She's the guest this year, so <laughs> go ahead. Okay. And I'll uh, find a female here. Oh, I found one. Yeah. When, when we say female, uh, it's, it's, uh, females are more balanced. And this is, gentlemen, this is not sexist. That is in the metaphysical uh, we are left or right brain so it's it's not a feminist type thing it just shows us that we are more balanced as a whole did i do that right absolutely all right so today is what september the what the not 10th the 10th of september tenth. i can't believe this whole year has left already Ready? I am ready. Loud, please. I'm ready. Okay, yes, I have to remember to speak louder. Um, we don't have, I don't have a little mic on me, so I need to project my voice. What's coming up right away um, is um, uh, interesting. Interesting that Gurley should just jump up right now because she is connecting with it right away. Since she's a cat, what's come up is um, the mouse. It's to pay attention to details. It's really important for us to pay attention to details and to be detail-oriented at this time. Um, paying attention to details can, um, whether uh, whether it be in Wall Street, whether to be in your own house, uh, is extremely important. So paying attention to details can let you know that you need to fill up your cupboards with food um, or uh, increase your, um, basically increase, increase your cash in your own savings account. Um, and um, also look just in case that there is a mouse trap around the corner, so or a cat. Um, what I also see happening here is what we were just talking about the feminine. The feminine um, through through the changes that we make by allowing the feminine to come to come in ourselves and in our families, we always we let that grace come through. We let that grace and that gentle healing come through of the feminine, um, both in our land and, in, and in, in our lives, to connect with water. There's a lot of water coming up, and it is through grace, it is through gent gentleness, gentleness of the feminine, that will bring um, 
uh, actually a very beautiful transformation. A very beautiful transformation. And through that, we have um, a rebirth of some sort coming ha happening. If, if we pay attention to the details. So the details this year are really, really important. Connecting to the feminine energy for transforming whatever we need to transform in our lives right now. And if we do that, um, there, there will be a rebirth. Okay, my, Go ahead. my turn. Your turn. Define rebirth real quick. Um, okay. Uh, if you remember, we talking to a lot of people yes. that are so familiar with our right. terminology. Right. So, um, rebirth is like we've gone through a very testing, testing time right now with, you know, in the past with, uh, you know, 9-11, with um, going to the war in Iraq, with Afghanistan. Um, we're looking outside the country right now. And this has brought a lot of uh, hardship also financially to the country. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is a rebirth, which means something good is going to come out of this. It will. We will rise again in a good and gentle way. Go, baby. She's just all over the place. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, either way, let me get my kitty here. Come here. Oh. She wants to be part of it today. Then go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know we have cat lovers, but you stay there, please. <laughs> Okay, what I have here is, is similar to what you have. It has to do with the increasing of finances. It's going to be a very slow process, and it's like a little trickle. It's not that we all get a $200 raise. Um, I, I noticed, uh, I noticed uh, one of the Republican candidates said, well, you know, if you only make $22 an hour, now, most people make minimum wage, so you're not going to get to the estimate of $22. Uh, um, but it's going to increase a little bit, and it's going to be very slow. And while we're doing this, it's also going to require the respect for the decisions that have to be made. And there is a caution. Um, I think we first have to go through a very turbulent, emotionally turbulent time here, and I think that has to do with the presidency and everything. And then you have families that are um, still struggling and don't have enough money. And um, that's going to really create some problems. Here you got the country and the hangman that we talked about in the last four years or so. Which means we're still a little upside down, but the outcome is really good. And once we break loose from these immature lines of thinking of some of the politicians, I would say, and come out of this box that this confinement that they have put us in. Because no matter how we want to come out, it seems they put the lid back on. But we are going to come out of this, and we're going to have new beginnings. So this looks really good on this part here. So you're next. Sounds good to me as mm -hmm. well, too. Let me see now. Hmm, this is very interesting. Uh, we have the dog energy. Now, dog energy is very loyal, which is also connected to the wolf. But the dog being different than the wolf is the dog is extremely loyal to its master. It's not wild, but it's done that by choice. So right now, the dog is upside down, which means that we have to be careful who we're being loyal to. Loyal to. So in order for this transformation to happen, um, we have to really look at where the loyalty is right now. How loyal, look at your loyalties. Are your loyalties serving you? So that is really important to look at right now is the dog energy, the, the loyalty. Who are, you being, who, who are you being loyal to? That can also be, are we being loyal to ourselves or are we being loyal to another country? Right now, I'm really seeing that this, the loyalty here, the loyalty, you need to, the dog needs to be loyal to its master. So take, in taking care of this country is really important. The dog needs to be um, connected to its master. So we need to keep the economy here in this country right now in order for this transformation to happen, very much like a, a mother that takes care of a child. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay. What's not working, it's interesting also backwards, um, is the dragonfly. So there is kind of a, there's something that's going on that's behind the scenes 
and also that that looks like it's very real, but it's not really real. It's it's um, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of ma like camouflage. It's the camouflage. It's like magic in a way. It's like something's going on that's hidden underneath our eyes that we can't see, while the rest of this is going on with the transformation. So there is um, there's there's um, something that's going on that we can't see. So we really need to pay attention to our loyalty, to live yes. our loyalty. Wag the dog type thing. Yeah. Is that right? I would say so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you got the dog right there. Oh. Uh -huh. For those of you that don't know what that means, run the movie, please. Okay. Um, what really needs to happen is that this gentleness, this gentleness is also upside down right now, too. So the gentleness is of the gentleness of the deer. Um, we need to connect with the deer energy, even though it looks to others that we're not being loyal. So the deer energy is very, very gentle. And um, we need to have this gentle energy. The feminine energy of the deer is very, very feminine. And that really needs to happen in order to have the transformation. Okay, go ahead. My turn for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming this is fairly accurate from my part here, and it talks about that uh, we have to give up something to get something. In other words, uh, there has to be a fair exchange in anything that we do, and um, a lot of people are leaving the planet simply because they can't either take the energy or they just don't have, um, they just can't do it anymore, and they're just leaving uh, like lots of them at the same time and I'm not talking about like right now this is still 12 um, where you have a, a person that's familiar to you you know one dies this day and then one dies the other day this looks more like a group where people are in groups and, and just uh, disasters I, I think this really has to be disasters here and then even though we're trying to buffer and make things better, everything is sort of predestined. Uh, predestined to me means if I say I'm going to meet you in New York tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, and that is an appointment, and then whether I take a, a train or a plane, of course, you know, however I want to get there by the indicated time, that would be my journey or my choice. But things that's moving along now is pretty pretty much um, predestined. Um, there's a female coming into high places in the government and uh, she's going to have a lot of opposition from 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 the rest of the, what do you call all the people together? Um, politicians. All the politicians. Uh, all the politicians. But a female in high places and I'm not sure. Um, the only one I can think of is Elizabeth Warren, but she's run for the Senate, unless she has an appointment. I don't know, but a female is going to be in a powerful place, and lots of arguments connected to that, and she's going to really have issues. Hmm? Pelosi. What happened? I said Pelosi. Pelosi. Maybe Pelosi is coming back. It's a good idea, but I mean, you know, she's going to have a lot of, maybe you're right, very powerful female. Um, I can't really put a time period on, on this reading here. I mean, we know it's going to be for the year, but I don't know at which point if this is going to start. And the churches are going to be upset. They're going to start taking pot shots, figuratively speaking, at people a little here and a little here. So it almost looks like nothing's going to change for a good while. And uh, they're still trying to confine us in this box. And while we add it, take these pot shots, it, uh, it, it looks like um, I never see anything. I'm just using this. It almost, you, you know when you're at the carnival, when you have people in a box and people throw things at you, and then at one point you either fall in the water, you get hit and you get a prize. Mm. That's what it looks like. Um, kind of like before. Uh, still, there are still problems with birth control issues. Um, and some changes on the top in the military, in, in the top ranks of the military. 
and uh, and I think marijuana will be legalized in most of the places and all they have to do is tidy up um, loose ends and um, some people won't like that at all but I think doesn't matter what I think it looks like it's a good alternative to some of the things we're doing now and I'm assuming this to be accurate so Mm. Okay, we're looking at self-esteem here, about how we look at ourselves. How do we look at ourselves? We, what is our pride? Um, a lot is going on is how we see ourselves. How we see ourselves in this country, how we see ourselves according to the world. Um, how will the president show who we truly are to the world? How does the world really see us? There's a lot to do with self-esteem. How are we carrying ourselves? Um, we can stand tall and stand straight in our humility and our strength without bullying. And this is the energy of the moose. The moose doesn't really need to bully itself or to put ourselves in other places by any show of strength. The moose itself just needs to stand in its place and just as, as its own strength with its humility um, and its power and its antennas because we know what's going on um, by the very nature of being in our own environment. If we stay too much of out of our own environment, which means being in foreign places, we will not have the true strength where we really need it, which is here in our own country. So the moose is really saying we really need to connect to the environment and to the, to the, the, to the earthiness and the environment um, of here is if we are too much out in the for in the foreign world in foreign countries we're not going to even remember who we truly are what our roots are and we will hold that really strongly so that's a very important important card patience this patience is coming in and hard work and um, the ant ants need to work together we cannot work alone um, the ants in the animal kingdom work together and uh, there may be an ant that's working by itself um, but working by yourself is just going to wear you out so patience is required patience but working together wow yeah that is so i actually i've never seen anybody use these cards i'm fascinated here because it's so accurate it is, isn't it? And uh -huh. even working with different cards, it's just... I can almost see things unfold by mm -hmm. the way you're telling you. Let's see one mm -hmm. more. This is cool. very interesting. We have the grouse. Now the grouse is about the dance. We need to lighten up. Mm. We really need to lighten up. And that is right above the transformation with the swan. We really need to lighten up, you know. So many people from all around the world have immigrated to this country. And, um, you know, it's really interesting for myself, being of uh, Native American background, being, you know, a, a Algonquin of the Turtle Clan, if you, if you take yourself too seriously and if you don't laugh at yourself, you're going to actually attract stuff to you. So we, we dance a lot, you know. Uh, we have the grouse dance, we have many dances, and the grouses are really about, about dancing and shaking loose and just letting the energy play again. And sometimes you've got to do that in order to, uh, you know, remember remember why we're here. So we need to have a smile on our face in order to to sh bring things into balance is what we really need. We need to have some dance and some music. Cool. Yeah, it's time to play a little bit. She just she just rose your spirits. I'm gonna move them back down. <laughs> How about this? I see a lot of anxieties here. Anxieties with young, immature people, and actually. I don't think anything's going to change. Um, Claudia is coming in November, and we're going to try to look at that again because it will be after the elections. But from everything I'm looking at, nothing is going to change. So, the anxieties are going to be there. The internal fights are going to be there. Um, Animal-related illnesses, uh, I'm not sure if that's already in the making or not. And... Uh, and it's not that they can't find medication to cure it. It is, I'm going to say a bad word. 
it's like the scientists are in a, I want a nice word for, urinating contest. I, I don't know how else to call a it. Urinating a contest, urinating okay. contest. They're having a urinating contest. It, it, that's going to keep the medicine from getting to the people. So if you're a scientist, mm. doesn't matter. You can do that, get back to that later. And um, more, more people will be imprisoned. Um, not sure what that means because I'm thinking that they will change the marijuana laws. I really, really do. So that's really kind of iffy. And eventually that will straighten itself out. But the anti, that's the wrong word, not anti-female, it's the, the health care, uh, you know, trying to maneuver women into the thinking of men. That's going to continue just a little longer. But eventually, um, we'll get it all straightened out. And um, there'd be a lot of cuts in the mental health care system. That's not a really good one. Um, someone will try to force the hand, someone's hand on the gun laws. Um, with just going in circles, in other words, uh, you don't get upset about the conversation they have because in the long run, nothing is going to change. And we need to um, get into the spiritual mind a little bit. Now, whether that is spiritual or religious, it doesn't really matter. What you need to remember, with all the hype there was about uh, 2012 being the end, of the, the end of the world. Now, that didn't happen. So be happy and let it go. And uh, But there are some people that preferred us in that state of mind. And so just, uh, they have to get, they, the people doing that, have to get over it so we can take a deep breath and feel a little better about ourselves and respect the earth and the way we think, not the way we are told to be thinking. There. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, what we're going to need is this coming year is actually a good thing. This is not the time to be weak. It is not the time to give up. It is not the time to play dead. It is the time to, um, to be really strong. So we're going to need stamina. And that is the elk. The elk has shown up on the cards. So this is this year, we are going to be given the strength. We have the strength. We have that incredible strength in this country. And a lot of, you know, it's interesting, People, some people don't, understand how much how much this country is a beacon of light to many other countries and how we walk and how we talk and how we conduct ourselves with integrity will really have a, a huge difference on everyone who lives here on on the animals the plant life the water the air everything and we really need to watch what we eat right now we need to be eating really nutritiously drinking really clear clear water we have to pace ourselves in energy all this year so people there that are really sensitive make sure you're drinking a lot of uh, clear water wherever that source is clear water make sure you're getting um, the foods that you need the nutrition the nutrition is really really important getting out in clean air getting out in nature because we're going to need the stamina an elk doesn't run 100 miles an hour non-stop it paces itself and that's what that's how stamina is built it paces itself, it stops, it rests, it eats, it rests again, and then it continues. The Nobel Prize, I believe, is going to a female, and it wouldn't surprise me if it was Hillary Clinton. Now, in last year's prediction, which was 2012, I didn't see Hillary Clinton for 13. But somewhere in there, and, and just to remind you, when I have two of the same, that usually catches my attention, and that's what I used for Hillary Clinton last year. So I'm assuming even though she will no longer be Secretary of State, she's going to be in an elevated type help, what's the position. Word? position? Position. Yeah. Um, so you have that. Um, as a country, if we go with the flow, and I'm not sure what that means, and here again, disconnect some of these immature ide 
ideas um, and people that come with it that are uh, they always belly aching and complaining and 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 like they said take two tax cut and call me in the morning like that um, what is that I hear some that's the cat okay um, this this little bridge is we, we're gonna get over that it's just a small hump um, it's really a small hump we have to overcome here, and that is it. Yeah. That's the cat's mechanizers. She okay? All right. Post office. There are still issues with the post office. I'm assuming they're going to get it straightened out or prolong it, maybe. Um... The issues with the post office will continue. Um, this has to do with borders. Uh, borders are being moved. I'm not sure what that means. Borders. Uh, I'm trying to relate it to the United States, but it could also be places that would affect us as the countries, but borders will be moved. And I can't give you a time on this between March and April, maybe. And we have to do a lot of work. Um, and like I said, get over the fact that the world didn't end. And show love, because we, we are all deserving of it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's again. Good. Okay, um, I've got the frog that's coming up right now. And the frog it has to do with, well, the frog is both on land and on water. Uh, so the frog is also about cleansing. So we're going to have water issues this year. I mean, uh, yeah, this year is coming up with water issues. Like floods? Uh, yeah, we can definitely have floods. There could be, um, there could be another tsunami somewhere in the world. Um, I don't know, don't think it's going to be like what just happened in Japan, um, but they're, the, de the waters are definitely going to be rising this year, Why, uh, rising, rising on coastlines, um, rising by the islands, um, definitely there may be coastlines um, where the water will rise up quite high actually. This is, do not, do not be, I shouldn't say don't be concerned because you know, we are, we're human, we're going to be concerned. But what's really going to happen is that this cleansing is necessary. This cleansing is really necessary to um, to bring balance. And even though we don't understand it, and you know why this is happening, is really pay attention to the animals. Really pay attention to the animals in your own area, especially aquatic animals. This is fish, turtles. Um, if you're in crocodile area, uh, you know swamp area, fish manatees, dolphins, whales, look at the water, look at the water. They will give you the first sign that maybe something may be off. And even the fish in your own aquarium. Um, and uh, so yeah, so the, the frog is definitely about water coming up. What do you've got? Uh, I, I'm thinking there are going to be some issues with Florida. Now I'm not sure if it's political or kind of works I try not to work into what right. Delphina said, but but the way she was describing this, it could very well be Florida, okay. you know, panhandle in there. And here again, uh, the borders would move. So if what she's looking at is is coming, then f the shape of Florida would change a little bit. And um, uh, Hollow, hollow. This has to do with fracking. Uh, uh, w we have to find legislatures that that will stand up against the fracking because come next summer everything is going to be so hollow that uh, it it promotes natural disasters. And uh, so when when we vote uh, or things, we have to look at the people, their qualifications, and how they feel about things because this is not good. Eventually the money will come back here again. You're not going to make $22 an hour from one day to another, but there is some recovery in store for us. Probably 
by the end of next summer. When does the fiscal year start, Miss Lisa? When do the fiscal year start? For October, state, right? For the state? Or yes. The state is July. June July. July. They would put it in the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, right about then, I, I think things is finally going to straighten out a little bit. And, um, and kind of look at how you feel about if, uh, how you feel about everything so we can so we can wind up this hateful period that we had and if you remember in 2012 we said that uh, the dream act was going to take long but some kind of way it would materialize well what did happen was an executive order so i'm looking at that eventually it is going to be made permanent and um, but it's not going to be easy a lot of opposition to things like that and as family units you have to be you have to be strengthened because uh, just because we are on the other side of 2012 doesn't mean everything is hunkadori it's a continuation of what we're doing already and you uh -huh. We have some playfulness here. The dolphin is in, is um, shown up. So um, at the maybe at by the end of the year, by the end of the year, we will see that hey, we're still here. <laughs> we're st still here. We've gone through. You know, we went through 2012, and now 2013. At the end of the year, probably around November, around November, we will see that hey, we can actually lighten up a little bit lighten up a little bit and yeah. um, the dolphin is going to come in to help us see that uh, it wasn't all doom and gloom. You know we have the, the, the Mayan prophecies, we have many of the prophecies, they do not talk about the end of the world. There is no end of the world, there is the end of the system as is. And um, we must also think of the, of the seven generations, everything we do is for the seven generations to heal. But the dolphin is also the card of, of, um, of the ancestors and it plays and it goes to a great depth and it comes back up again and it brings things in balance mm -hmm. so this is a, this is a really good thing in november that's almost the same you know, thing from a different angle isn't mm -hmm. it wonderful it, it really is it's all just coming in and it's, it's a wonderful balance yeah wow mm -hmm. and so here i have you know shown love that doesn't it, for the country we have to be more loving because 2012 was a hateful year. I've never seen it so hateful. We have to overcome this. Yeah, and I think we will. But we, it's going to take almost the whole 13 to get back to an even keel on that. And we have to give up something to get something. I mean, it's a, it's a, almost a fair exchange here. So if nothing is for free, and I'm not talking money here. I'm talking about how we treat one another. Um, it's, it's like there's a brick wall there and we're trying to run through it. Well, you have to change the shape of your object in order. Actually, I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, let me go find something here. I smoke, so we have plenty of lighters. Let's see here. Okay. This is a brick wall. It's yours and you own it. This is where you are and this is where you want to be. So, you can do the following. You can try to go through the brick wall, and you're going to hurt yourself. You can try to jump it, and you hurt yourself. But because you own the wall, you can flip it. You can just lay it flat. Still your wall. You paid for it. But look, look what you can do now. You can just kind of very gradually go across it. You see what I mean? So, change the shape of your object and take the third alternative and make your life a little easier. So there you are, one brick wall. I think that's what I'm I, looking at. I love it, Lillian. And uh, it, it's really, it's really going to be helpful. Either way, that's where it goes. Mm. And um, start all over in some areas. You know what I mean? And uh, technology you, we are at a point where I don't know what next thing is going to come for. So if they don't have an iPhone 6 or 7 next year, uh, think about that for a minute. Uh, technology can only go so far before we have to start all over. So count your blessings and appreciate what you have because 
we can only do so much in a three-dimensional. Oh, that was weird, wasn't it? I know. Totally. Oh. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Totally. Hmm. Um, yes, and I've got um, the horse. The horse is um, transportation. So, uh, interesting, uh, interesting enough, they just, this, there's, this affects, affects both the autom uh, the, um, automotive, the, uh, the automobile, which was, uh, which has really been a topic, uh, of last year's election, uh, with the automobile industry. So, we've got transportation, if the horse is the transportation, always has been. When you think of horsepower, horsepower, well, horsepower is going to be, there's going to be something about hor horsepower, and it could be the actually um, working with the wind as well, too, because the horses are very connected to the wind, and I'm looking at something of horsepower, and also um, Nassau, Nassau energy. We may be looking into alternative energy that we've never looked into before, and many people are will now be ready to make the switch. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just thinking, wow. okay, that's very interesting. That, that was like, oh, wow, that's kind of like coming out of, uh, what, what, sometimes you get a wild card like that. I was like, whoa. Um, that means go, it's going to go my way, all the way. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is looking good. Um, the fox. <coughs> Ooh. Fox. We like the fox when the fox shows up. The fox shows up. Um, the fox is always a, a good animal to show up to show us that, there, you know, it's sometimes, sometimes you need to be the fox. Sometimes you need to be the fox to see, to see where your, um, your assets are. See where your assets are and to protect, to protect it. And also to, um, see what's coming around the corner. And also to know, um, what's hidden. What's hidden. But may I ask you Go something? ahead, go ahead. Doesn't the fox also represent invisibility yes the fox thank you for bringing that up Lily. Mm -hmm. and the fox is able to be invisible the fox wears a cloak sometimes of like you can't see a That's fox right, yeah. so this cloak of invisibility is sometimes you see the fox and sometimes you don't see the fox so that that means sometimes that we may be acting with people not may not be aware of what we're doing sometimes but still something is, is happening in this country that other people are not aware of so when you think about a foxy person you know how does a foxy person act um, you know, it, it's a, it's a good ally to have, to be invisible sometimes to your, to the people that you need to be invisible to, and visible at times when you need to. Fox building on, you know, I could, I've, I didn't know that I could actually do readings with those cards, they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, what I know about a fox is, they always have cold feet, people with fox medicine always have cold feet, and now it's picking it up over here. We're going to have a horrendous winter, so make sure you have backup. Um, uh, from 12th to 13th is going to be a very harsh winter. Make sure you have supplies, um, alternative heat sources, and good shoes, good shoes. So um, snow, does snow make your feet wet? No, huh? Snow makes your feet wet. Uh -huh. I see. Yes. Well, I don't see anything, but, but it's like, like, really really wet feet almost to frostbite mm. type feet so it must be but high snow i'm picking up snowshoes thank you all of that snowshoes and uh so you don't get hit with it all at the same time start preparing early because uh when things happen you can't run to the store they're going to be sold out or not have enough supplies, so gradually, you know, you know, gradually it, it won't spoil on you, but can get ready for a very, very harsh winter in uh, 2013. Yep, that's what I have. Um, contracts, paperwork, and here again, everything is pretty predestined, so it's going to run its course. And always remember, some people don't like what the other people are doing. So get over it. It's time to uh, come together as the United States of America. I like that. There's uh, unity working yeah. together. Okay. 
Let's see. Hmm. Well, we have the snake. The snake is all about healing energy. The snake always comes in your life as um, as healing. And uh, some people, you know, sometimes some people fear when the when the snake comes up, but it's a really it's a very good sign. It's a sign of healing that through through this time that the country through all through it could be what you know the, what we've gone through politically oh. the um the flooding that we went through as well too um all the all the maybe the tornadoes and um more hurricanes it's, it was necessary we will see at the end is that all of this will have brought everyone together in the country and there will be union with that and there will be healing deep deep healing where are you, Miss Lisa? Where is there? You don't know? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? No, that's fine. Uh, I mean, we have like five minutes. Uh, so it, it's really okay to talk about some things, but I know you went somewhere. Mm -hmm. did, what did you see? I, I didn't see anything. I just didn't thinking. see anything? Mm -hmm. That was so, so strange. Such you had a revelation you could help us with. <laughs> no. Huh? Sorry. No. How cool. I interrupted you. I no. am so I am so sorry. No, it's 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 good. I that that healing card feel to me it feels that's that's it's a good thing. This I, I really like where it with where it's come to. It's the healing at the end. So you have any summarizing thoughts? Uh, we start with Miss Lisa, what do you think? Well, it sounds like it's going to be a, a good a good year, a good time, good yeah. changes. Um, little, yeah, little challenges, but yeah. I think that's what we need to do. Yeah, make it through those challenges. And you? I think so too. I um, this is all. This is really good. There's time of cleansing. There's looking at the loyalty. There's um, you know realizing what's there and what's not there. Where the games are. Where where it's not working, but and how we need to hold ourselves, and at the end, there's healing. I think this is a good thing. It's gonna be it's go, it's gonna be a good year. It's okay. We can pull our we can pull our socks up and put our boots on for the snow and lift our, you know, our our t-shirts up and and um, get ready for the healing. It's all good. In the '60s and '70s, we had musicians that sang about things they had no clue. And I've talked to some of them, they said, how could I have talked about this and that? And I'd like for you to pay attention to the musicians that we release records and things. These are the guys or, or, or ladies from the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s. It's almost like they have another search of knowledge that they don't know what they're talking about they, themselves, but it will become apparent so pay attention to the old artists and, and where their line of thinking is. Boy, that's strange, huh? Yeah, and... Uh, I think the visionaries right now. Visionaries. There we go. That's the word. They were, they were visionaries, and now the visionaries... Um, they come, they, they're coming the out now. The same people coming back because they practically at the end of... You know, we are in the winter of our lives, and it's just this one more thing that they have to teach us or say to us, you mm -hmm. know? And um, nothing taken away from rap. Just listen to some of the old timers. You it's, know. it's time. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's what's coming through me is, um, you know, it's interesting you're talking about the, the, the singers. I'm going back to some of the, uh, you know, like, we'll look at Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, I'll be there. I'm looking at Stevie Wonder, uh, you know, um, Starship. Um, Jefferson. Jefferson, I'm looking at um, um, looking at some of the old songs that I keep yeah. they keep coming through, and uh, you know, which is, um, I can might say something else that's coming that might be we might have a little surprise in 2013 this year. What? Well, if it's a, you're gonna gonna tell us if it's a surprise. Oh, right? me, I better not tell you. Oh, it's you a won't surprise. tell us? No, I can, she, I mean I no, can keep it a surprise. Look, you know? She <laughs> might not. We don't know when she's coming back, so what's a surprise? Well, you know. Um, there, how does that song go about occupants, um, occupants of Mother Earth? I know where she's going. You know that's, hey, occupants. Do -do 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 
What's that song from? I have no idea. Uh, but, but they're coming. <laughs> but they're coming. But they're coming. Hey, uh, occupants of Mother Earth. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know if that's um, Carpenter. Carpenter. I have uh, Mary no Carpenter. idea. Yeah, it's basically that we may, you know, uh, star nations, according to the indigenous people of this planet, um, yeah. um, are here, are here and have been here since the beginning of time. There, you know, we are intimately in interconnected, and uh, if, you know, you may have heard stories in the past of, you know, we've had visitations from time to time. Do not be surprised if. Um, we have a wonderful little visit just to help us keep on track. Maybe that's all I'll say. Join us on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I am Lillian Mustalier. Uh, just type it in and I'll let you in. And you are? Delphina Nova. On, on Facebook. And over the, year, over the years, we have developed a really wonderful network with not just in the United States, from around the world, where we keep one another informed and you'd be amazed what a wonderful planet we're living on um, <coughs> if we can just get out of this hateful um, territorial line of thinking and so feel free to feel free to join us with uh, information we want information and videos and that's the only way we can tell how accurate we are because here September 2012 when we're looking way up here and like Kana Shivashan said Accuracy is like hitting the moon with a telling time. It's like hitting the moon with a payback clip. And that's what we do. And so so let us know how it unfolds. And uh, thank you, Miss Lisa. You're very welcome. And thank you for coming. You're welcome, That was William. wonderful. Thank you for inviting me. Next one's 2014, if, if I'm still here. Okay. Time, time's up, and we see you next week. And... Safe journeys, huh?